I was making final preparations for my new crew member. It was mainly giving Galapan a good clean and putting up new courtesy Canarian and Spanish flags. My son Sebastian was coming soon. He was to sail with me for a couple weeks and I was really, really happy. I said goodbye to my British neighbors Mark and Lisa and hello to new Swiss friends Danielle and Nicole who had just sailed into our Recife with their trimaran. Saying goodbye is just part of the sailing life. I'd rather say see you soon. Well, my stay here in Arrecife is almost over. Uh, my son Sebastian is coming Sunday and we're gonna sail to Tenerife. I had a couple more things to do before I um, left this uh, wonderful island and that is to introduce some of my local friends to a Swiss fondue. So I've invited Sarai as well as Laura, but she couldn't make it for a fondue. This is going to be an introduction of Swiss fondue to a conajera, a native of um, of Lanzarote. So we'll see what she thinks. Que bien se del, del fondido suizo. Mm -hmm. Te gusta? Sí, me encantó, eh. <laughs> Muy bueno, la verdad. No. Disgusting. <laughs> it's horrible. Okay. I made a terrible fondue. It failed. <laughs> Fondue was no good. Sí, mira, ahora sí que lo apagaste, ¿no? Wow. A mí me encantó la. Okay, well, we tried. The fondue was a fiasco, but later we had drinks and a good time nonetheless. Good old hijo Seb is here with me, but um, we're gonna keep him discreet, you know, until he's nice and tan and fit and then maybe he'll say something to the camera. But until then, I'll just do cameos. <laughs> yeah, do cameos. Yo! So I still got a problem with my anchor bow sprit. I had this welded on this morning and I made it too short. The anchor doesn't, the uh, arm doesn't fit through. It fucking sucks. So luckily I have Walter next door to Swiss guy, he built his own boat. You gotta check this out. 14 years he built his own boat. Out of steel, I asked him if he could help me. And we're gonna cut a piece off the arc. Walter is kind enough to help me cut a piece of my stainless steel arc off. And he's gonna get his generator so we can do that in a parking lot and not spray pieces of metal everywhere on the dock. What a boat, man. He's made this boat. How amazing is that? Walter, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. You're Wally, welcome. as he likes to be called, helped out. Another Swiss who had given up Alpine life for the marine life. Well, I think we've done it. Thank you to Luis and Jose at the uh, metal shop who welded this on. And then uh, to Walter who uh, helped me correct the, the slight mistake. I think this is going to work fine, man. This is cool. So tomorrow, me and Seba are thinking of going up to Graziosa again. So, definitely need the anchor. <laughs> so psyched, man. So we're leaving Marina Lanzarote. Seb is at the helm. This dude over here is doing a little tricky uh, maneuver. He's saying, out of here, gotta give him respect. Seb, you're gonna go right and out, straight out that way. And again, keep an eye out for him. Yeah, hasta la vista, baby. Lanzarote, what a wonderful place. All the wonderful people that I met. Jean-Yves, uh, Sarai, all the crew from uh, the marina. And uh, yeah, it's been fantastic. Oh, and we can't forget Andreas, who introduced me to Sylvia. And it's just, you know, fantastic experience. I'm gonna have to come back here. Absolutely love it. So now we're heading up to La Graciosa. Seb's getting a pretty good first day apprenticeship, but he's handling well. The sea state is rough out here in front of the, uh, the marina jetty, so we're gonna try to clear it out a little bit before we hoist the sails and Make way north. 
here we are off the coast of uh, Costa Teguis. Full sails are up. Seb's getting his sea legs uh, adjusted. I think he's doing pretty well. And the swells, uh, it's okay. It's a little more impressive out further off the coast. Uh, we're gonna try to hug the coast as much as possible. Going up uh, upwind. I'm never sure how people will react to the ocean. Some of us get seasick, others don't. There is no general rule. For many, it takes a good 24 hours to get used to the motion of the ocean. And this definitely went for Seb. Well, Seb's down uh, taking a nap. It's usually a sign of beginning of seasickness when people are, are tired and they want to lay down and start yawning and stuff. And that usually is a good telltale sign that, you know, a little bit of uh, maleada or marea, as they say in Spanish, you know, or seasickness. But anyways, I'm hugging really close to the coast here. Try to uh, stay out of the swell as much as possible, but I'm so close that it's bouncing back and forth. So, uh, from these from the rocks here. So, I'm having this crisscrossing wave effect. So, trying to hold on as much as I can before I tack, because then if I can tack, a little later, I can really hug the coast nicely and be in a protected area for a while and less well. Big swell, man. It's 40. Poor Seb's not feeling so good. But we're almost there. So this, this is a pretty formed sea today. The waves are kind of choppy, get big, and the wind's not too strong. Peaked at 20 or so, so took out one reef. Slowly making our way up there. These waves, man. As they say in French, c'est pénible. <laughs> I was going to go for some short outings at first to see how Seb would feel. Start off slow and easy, but he was set on going to La Graciosa. I knew it was going to be a long day going upwind and into the swell. Seb had no idea what he had gotten himself into. Quite the test for the first time out. This ain't no joke. This is the Canaries and we're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. But he submitted to his fate. And I was glad I knew how to handle Galapa on my own. Process, right? <laughs> As we say, <laughs> you gotta get your maritime blood going or something. <laughs> oh, 
supposed to go out now. Whew. Seb's getting marinized. He's getting his sea legs. The, uh, the baptism. The ocean baptism. <laughs> and he didn't choose any like pussy, oh, you know, sea or anything. He chose the Atlantic. Check this out. This is fucking beautiful. Feel better? Shockers. Okay, we're almost there. We had made it to La Graciosa, about nine hours of beating into the wind and swell. And swell it was. morning we went to shore, but first we made a quick stop. Connie's making rush tea. Yeah. The other national food of Switzerland <laughs> after the fondue. Um, How many years have you been sailing? Well, sailing? Not so much. <laughs> but stay here on the boat, um, three years. And we are starting south of um, France. Yeah. And then Baleares, and then Gibraltar, and Canaren, Ca yeah, Canaries. Canarian. <laughs> and then we go back, Madeira, and Gibraltar, and Baleares, and you want, you know this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then we are sailing to um, Sardinia. Yeah. And Corsica. And then we are going back here. We brought down and comes the wind on board. <laughs> and after we stay uh, the winter in Gibraltar, and now we are here. Marcel is struggling with his water maker. Yeah, He's day. not satisfied, it's not working. Every day is problems, yeah. So Marcel's water maker, portable, portable water maker, is not so good. good. Yeah, not good. Where'd you go next? Caribbean. We think so. <laughs> and you left everything in Switzerland. You yes. have not. Yes, yeah. We have nothing there. Why? Um, our home family is there. And why? Yeah. In the winter time, it's very cold there. <laughs> and here is easy. You need nothing. <laughs> Another Swiss family who gave up everything in Switzerland. Perfect Switzerland, but it's cold and expensive. Yeah. Yeah. And busy and stressful. Yeah. And here it's nice yeah, it's and easy. It's easy and chilling. You chill out, yeah. <laughs> so many of us Swiss have given up the greener grass for the big blue. Why? Because now we can have this. Mornings 